stadium. But the 16th would prove that plans could go horribly wrong. So this tweet has caused quite a stir in the country, with the SACP now laying charges against environmental campaigner and author Nicole Barlow. This is in relation to her controversial tweet on Mineral Resource Minister Gwede Mandashe. She was commenting on reports by the Sunday Times that Mandashe did not attend a meeting hosted by President Cyril Ramaphosa with European leaders on green energy projects. Barlow tweeted, we missed an opportunity to do a Chris Hani on them. She later deleted her tweet following furor. The late SACP General Secretary was assassinated in cold blood back in April 1993. SACP spokesperson Dr. Alice Mashilo and the Commissioner of the SAHRC, Andre Gom, join us now uh, to speak about the thin line between freedom of speech, Andre, and incitement. And so um, the initial response from the SAHRC RC. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, we have received various complaints uh, with regard to this tweet, and the Commission is currently assessing these, com uh, these complaints to see what our next steps will be. In terms of our Constitution, Section 16 thereof, freedom of speech does not extend to hate speech. And that means that the uh, Constitution does not protect advocacy of hatred based on a prohibited ground such as race or ethnicity, uh, and that at the same time constitutes incitement to cause harm. Now, on the face of it, this uh, um, tweet appears to be hate speech indeed, especially if you take into account the context uh, of what has happened in the terrible a uh, racist killing of, of Mr. Hani. And in, in view of that, the Commission will assess the position and then come to a conclusion as to what the, um, what the next steps will be. That can include various options, for example, the Equality Court and investigation uh, and so forth. Okay. Alex Mashilo is the SACP spokesperson and the party has since laid um, charges against Nicole. Why? Alex, are you with us? Dr. Mashilo. Uh, it's... I am with you. I wonder if you can hear me. Yeah, we can hear you now. You've since laid charges against her. Why? Look, the comments against uh, the comments she made are uh, she made are uh, reckless. They constitute an incitement to hate speech and not just hate speech. Hate speech based on a cold blooded assassination, which she says they missed doing on someone else, Gwede Mandashe. That is completely unacceptable. Just think about this. What would you think about the comments she made if you were a member of the Hani family and the SACP, having lost Chris Hani in such a cold-blooded assassination, when someone says they missed doing the same thing on another person? That is completely unacceptable. Andre, you mentioned that you are going to assess your position and you will follow due process and take a look at um, all of the circumstances. What does that include in terms of your investigation? Does it include going into her history? If you take a look at her previous tweets, does it give you an idea of the kind of person that you are dealing with? Yes, obviously, we will have to look at the context and uh, our provincial office in the, in the Gauteng office uh, of the Gauteng office will consider uh, all these matters. If there is a pattern of similar kind of kinds of tweets, for example, then that could also indicate harassment on a prohibited ground. But I don't want to, to go there. It is now for our senior legal officers to, to assess the matter and then to, to see what exactly the next step should be. As I say, on the face of it, to me, this does appear to be hate speech and uh, potentially harassment. If there are other tweets, I'm not, not aware of them at this point in time. Uh, and therefore, the Commission will most definitely act uh, very decisively in terms of its mandate in this regard. It is of great concern that more and more people make themselves guilty of hate speech using social media 
And uh, we see that also in terms of the complaints that we receive. It appears that some people have the perception of anonymity, an, an, uh, anonymity as far as social media uh, tweets and other social, social media use is concerned. But the Commission has been quite successful in uh, tracking down people who make themselves guilty of hate speech on social media and to take strong and decisive action against them. And uh, the Commission would, will most definitely uh, continue to do th that. It is uh, clearly not in the interest of uh, a national unity and social cohesion and social harmony that, uh, that uh, it could be allowed at all that uh, this abuse of social media takes place. The Commission has recently published its own social media charter, which uh, is an attempt to indicate to South Africans how to use social media in a manner that it does not infringe human rights and that does not amount to hate speech. Because Dr. Mashilo at the heart of the matter is a Sunday Times report that Gwede Mandashi has snubbed the president on the screen deal. Let's take a look, listen at what the Mineral Resource Minister had to say yesterday about this particular matter, setting the record straight. I, then I read uh, uh, some uh, person, uh, some parlor, uh, saying they missed an opportunity to do a Christian on me, which means that the way that they are irritated, they think that I must be killed. That's why with me. But I must stick to what I believe in. Nobody should be dragged to sign a document without reading it. On that signing of a document without reading it, he also made mention that there was a memorandum of understanding that did not reach him on time. And so he does not know what is contained therein. And he does not make it a habit to sign something that he did not read. Dr. Mashilo, do you suspect that there is more to this, um, as he mentioned, Gwede Mandashe, that is that people are now getting irritated because he's not following a particular line, it would appear. There is definitely a problem in the sense that uh, a, a number of individuals were grouped into the so-called civil society organizations or NGOs to target and isolate him. You can go as far back as uh, just after he was appointed to that position. There is definitely a number of organizations and some of them are using uh, this notion that they are environmental lobby groups. And what we see now, if you protect the environment, there is no way that you can make such reckless comment about a human being. Because you protect the environment in order for human beings to have long life under this environment. Why would you say someone else must face a kiss honey for a failure or for the position he has adopted to not go and sign? a memorandum he has not seen. People have to connect between the struggle for the environment and the supreme right to life. The reason why we want to protect the environment ourselves is that there is life in this environment and we wish to see this life going on for a long time. You cannot come out and say someone must be assassinated for a position he has adopted to not go and sign a memorandum he has not seen. Those comments are quite reckless. Dr. Alex Mashilo speaks for the SACP, and Andre Gorm is the commissioner at the South African Human Rights Council. Thank you.